it's a nice bright sunny day today so what better to do than <laughs> go inside and rebuild your pedal board this pedal board i need it to cover country gigs that i play i need it to cover what i do at home in my studio uh, in regards to videos all that sort of stuff and recording i need it to cover my teaching which runs the i guess the length and breadth of everything from acoustic covers through to metallica through to country music and blues and a bit of jazz that sort of stuff so this pedal board hopefully will see me through the next couple of months i've got a mono pedal board got some plugs in the back got my iec cable there i've got a true tone cs12 for power I've also made these little risers just to lift the second row of pedals up. They're just made out of pine, cut to size, painted black, dual lock on the top, and they're screwed in. Now, as far as pedals go, my board's nearly all analog, with the exception of my reverb, which is the Chase Bliss Dark World. And what I'm using it for is really for a big plate reverb for solos, or if I'm using my Morgan AC20, I'm gonna use it for a spring reverb. Next pedal is gonna be my Trem. I cannot live without a Tremolo. This particular one I'm using at the moment is a Walrus Audio Monument version two. Uh, it allows me to have harmonic tremolo as well as standard trem for all the country music. It has tap tempo as well, which I'll actually be controlling via a separate tap tempo switch. These switches are real close together and when I'm wearing cowboy boots, the amount of times I've hit wrong switches and all sorts of weird stuff's happened, I need to avoid that at all costs. Now I have been using a timeline for years and before that I was using a even tied time factor, which I absolutely loved. I'm doing something different. I'm using an analog delay. This one's the Oracle by Mythos. Cool thing with this pedal is I can get a slap back, but if I need a quarter note delay real quick, it has a tap tempo switch and the switches are far enough apart that you're not gonna accidentally bump them with the aforementioned boots. Golden Boy by Jackson Audio is my main drive pedal based on a blues breaker circuit, which is probably my favorite favorite overdrive circuit with the addition of an awesome three band EQ and a clean boost with an adjustable level knob there. It has gain staging, which is incredible. So you can set the pedal up so that it's at like 25%, 50%, 75%, 100% percent gain. Next pedal I'm dropping on there is for all of my little Metallica heads. It's gonna be used for more of a heavy overdrive rock sort of stuff. I will use it with the gain pretty much to zero, which is still a lot of gain for me. But if you need to get an awesome sort of modern rock sound, this pedal is the bomb. The next pedal in line is actually gonna be this one, which is a Drybell Vibe Machine 2. It's gonna be there for all of my vibrato, chorusy stuff, but mainly because it is a Univibe style pedal. So I love this for rock stuff. Next pedal is another one from Mythos, Argo. So it's an octave fuzz. But the other cool thing with this pedal is that, apart from it was a Father's Day present from my adorable daughter, I can turn the fuzz off and use it as a clean boost. So on my country gigs, I can use this as a clean boost running into the Golden Boy as well. So even more awesomeness. My compressor is an exotic SP comp. It's small, it's compact, sounds amazing, and it's simple. Got a blend control, everything I want in a compressor. I have another Mythos pedal. Anyone would think I'm becoming a fanboy. Golden Fleece for fuzz. I've never gotten crazy into fuzz, but I really like the sound of this one. So if you're not a fuzz person, check this one out. Other than that, I have a little poly tune, which I've had forever on my pedal boards. Great little tuner. And I also use it as a mute switch. And the last thing which won't be on my board, which, which I'll leave on the floor for when I need it, is an exotic wire. Has all the controls on the side, so you can adjust your sound to all the craziness that you want. It's got some dip switches on the inside. Has an LED so you can see when it's on, which is awesome. Like I said before, power is gonna be courtesy of my True Tone CS12, and I have a little gig rig isolator that I'm gonna use just to send a signal from one of these 500 milliamp outs to all of my drive pedals, just so I've got enough. Finally, I have a brown paper bag. With way too many cables that I'm gonna to have to repurpose. Anyway, let's jump into building this thing. Also, just in case you're wondering, this video is not sponsored by anyone other than myself and my bank account. If anyone does want to give me stuff, feel free, but hey, that's life. No different from everyone else out there. I've got all the audio cables run, so everything's in its place. Like there's lots of arguments on the internet about solderless cables versus soldered. I've used both, I don't think it matters. As long as you make them well, the cables are gonna last. Let's get the power in. Didn't finish it before Jody got home, but hey, it's the next day and there she is. All wired up, power, audio. I have a little cable that hooks out the side here, along with a little solder patch cable that I can patch that in. The other cool thing about this board is if I don't need the octave fuzz, I can actually take that out. I can either put in protein drive, which will sit right there, don't need any extra cables, and that'll give me an extra two drive stages. Or, got another birthday present from my daughter. 
Paisley Drive, that'll fit in the same spot. So it gives me a bunch of versatility. Anyways, let's go jump in the studio and have a listen to how it sounds. Okay, before we get started, I'm playing through my Retargic Dream Reverb app. So it's based on a Blackface Fender. It's got two greenback speakers in it, roughly about 30 watts. Got some reverb, clean sound, sounds like this. using my trusty exotic XTC1 Telecaster Swamp Ash body, maple neck. First up in the chain is my Golden Fleece. It's a nice little fuzz pedal, one knob, super simple, which suits me fine. Sounds a bit like this. Next pedal up on the ranks is my Argo by Mythos. It's an octave fuzz. It's pretty cool. So you've got the fuzz control, you've got a blend, so you can blend the amount of fuzz and octave in, and you've got a boost, which is really cool. So I can run this either as an octave fuzz, which will sound like this. Or if I turn the fuzz off and that blend back, I can actually run it as a clean boost. So it serves two purposes, which is really cool. After the Argo, I jump over to my SP Compressor by Exotic. You've got a little high-low mid switch on it, a blend and a volume. That's really all I use. I've got it set to the mid setting. Blends probably roughly on about 10 o'clock. <laughs> If you turn the blend right up, you can get more of that old classic country squish. Next pedal is my Drybell Vibe Machine 2, so my Univibe pedal. I mainly use it on the chorus setting, and she sounds like this by itself. Now we get into more standard overdrive. So my next pedal is going to be my higher gain pedal. Now I do have my gain set pretty low, so it's it's sitting there probably on what maybe between seven and eight o'clock. So it's going to take my clean sound this and turn it into a filth magnet. <laughs> I take that and add a quarter note delay from the Oracle. So, back that off a bit and a little bit of vibe. All sorts of fun wobbly rockiness. After that little guy is my Golden Boy by Jackson Audio. So this is the sound by itself. Now my basic tone that I'll normally use 95% of the time is just the straight overdrive channel on the Golden Boy and my compressor. My blend backed off a bit and a little bit of slap back on the Oracle. boost in on the Golden Boy from its boost circuit, which gives me a nice filthy sort of a higher gain sound. Really nice overdrive, really nice boost. Now that boost is pretty severe if I use it by itself as well.
So it's got a heap of headroom. It's all adjustable from that boost knob. Next up's my delay, which is my Oracle by Mythos, and it's an analog delay, so it's pretty dark. I've only got one repeat on there for a slapback. I can put a bit more on there like this. Pop the mix back. Pop, let's say, like that. Because it's dark, it never gets in the road. It sounds really cool. It's got the tap tempo, so I can tap in quarter notes, or I just whack the time to about nine o'clock, rock my mix up a bit, turn feedback off to get a slap back, which suits for most of my playing. After my delay, I have my trem, which is the monument. Now, at the moment, it's set up for harmonic trem. switch, set my volume up a bit, tap my tempo in, I'll pop that over to there, a little bit of drive. Gives me a nice tremolo for all those moments I need it in a few of the country tunes I play. Last up is the Dark World Reverb, and like I said, this one does a heap of stuff. I've got it set up for a plate at the moment because I've got reverb in my amp and it just gives me a real nice big, let's see if we set this up, big plate reverb. Yeah, I can extend that a bit, pop that. Give you a bit of an idea. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, hit like, leave me some comments, tell me what you'd like to see, tell me how I can make these videos better. But until next time, cheers.